The Italy national football team Italian, Nazionale di Calcio dell'Italia, has officially represented Italy in association football since their first match in 1910. The squad is under the global jurisdiction of FIFA and is governed in Europe by UEFA, the latter of which was co-founded by the Italian team's supervising body, the Italian Football Federation FIGC. Italy's home matches are played at various stadiums throughout Italy, and have their primary training ground located at the FIGC headquarters in Coverciano, Florence. Italy is one of the most successful national teams in the history of the World Cup, having won four titles 1934, 1938, 1982, 2006 and appearing in two other finals 1970, 1994, reaching a third place 1990, and a fourth place 1978. In 1938, they became the first team to defend their World Cup title, and due to the outbreak of World War II, retained the title for 16 years. Italy had also previously won two Central European International Cups 1927-30, Between its first two World Cup victories, Italy won the Olympic Football Tournament 1936. After the majority of the team was killed in a plane crash in 1949, the team did not advance past the group stage of the following two World Cup tournaments, and also failed to qualify for the 1958 edition. Failure to qualify for the World Cup would not happen again until the 2018 edition. Italy returned to form by 1968, winning a European Championship 1968, and after a period of alternating unsuccessful qualification rounds in Europe, later appeared in two other finals 2000, 2012. Italy's highest finish at the FIFA Confederations Cup was in 2013, where the squad achieved a third-place finish. The team is known as GLI Azzurri the Blues, as blue is the traditional color of the national teams representing Italy due to the color of the House of Savoy's banner. The national team is also known for its long-standing rivalries with other top footballing nations, such as those with Brazil, France, Germany and Spain. In the FIFA World Ranking, in force since August 1993, Italy has occupied the first place several times, in November 1993 and during 2007 February, April to June, September, with its worst placement in August 2018 in 21st place. History Topic: 1910 to 1938 Origins and first two World Cups. The team's first match was held in Milan on the 15th of May 1910. Italy defeated France by a score of 6 to 2, with Italy's first goal scored by Pietro Lana. Some turmoil kept the players of Pro Vercelli, who were the best team in the league, out of the game. At the end of the match, the players received some cigarette packets thrown by the 4,000 spectators as a prize. The Italian team played with a 2-3-5 system and consisted of, De Simone, Varisco, Cali, Traer, Fassati, Capello, Di Bernardi, Rizzi, Savanini I, Lana, Boyocchi. First captain of the team was Francesco Cali. The first success in an official tournament came with the bronze medal in 1928 Summer Olympics, held in Amsterdam. After losing the semi-final against Uruguay, an 11-3 victory against Egypt secured third place in the competition. In the 1927-30 and 1933-35 Central European International Cup, Italy achieved the first place out of five Central European teams, topping the group with 11 points in both editions of the tournament. Italy would also later win the gold medal at the 1936 Summer Olympics with a 2-1 victory in extra time in the gold medal match over Austria on the 15th of August 1936 after declining to participate in the first World Cup 1930 in Uruguay the Italian national team won two consecutive editions of the tournament in 1934 and 1938 under the direction of coach Vittorio Pozzo and the performance of Giuseppe Miazza who is considered one of the best Italian football players of all time by some. Italy hosted the 1934 World Cup, and played their first ever World Cup match in a 7-1 win over the United States in Rome. Italy defeated Czechoslovakia 2-1 in extra time in the final in Rome, with goals by Raimundo Orsi and Angelo Schiavio to achieve their first World Cup title in 1934. They achieved their second title in 1938 in a 4-2 defeat of Hungary, with two goals by Gino Colossi and two goals by Silvio Piola in the World Cup that followed. 
Rumor has it, before the 1938 finals fascist Italian Prime Minister Benito Mussolini was to have sent a telegram to the team, saying, Vincere o morir, literally translated as, win or die. However, no record remains of such a telegram, and World Cup player Pietro Rava said, when interviewed, no, 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 that's not true. He sent a telegram wishing us well, but no never, win or die. Topic: 1946 to 1966, post World War II. In 1949, ten of the eleven players in the team's initial lineup were killed in a plane crash that affected Torino, winners of the previous five Serie A titles. Italy did not advance further than the first round of the 1950 World Cup, as they were weakened severely due to the air disaster. The team had traveled by boat rather than by plane, fearing another accident. In the World Cup finals of 1954 and 1962, Italy failed to progress past the first round, and did not qualify for the 1958 World Cup due to a 2 1 defeat to Northern Ireland in the last match of the qualifying round. Italy did not take part in the first edition of the European Championship in 1960, then known as the European Nations Cup, and was knocked out by the Soviet Union in the first round of the 1964 European Nations Cup qualifying. Their participation in the 1966 World Cup was ended by a 0-1 defeat at the hands of North Korea. Despite being the tournament favorites, the Azzurri, whose 1966 squad included Johnny Rivera and Giacomo Bulgarelli, were eliminated in the first round by the semi-professional North Koreans. The Italian team was bitterly condemned upon their return home, while North Korean scorer Pak Do Ik was celebrated as the David who killed Goliath. Topic. 1968–1976, European champions and World Cup runners-up In 1968, Italy participated in their first European Championship, hosting the European Championship and winning their first major competition since the 1938 World Cup, beating Yugoslavia in Rome for the title. The match holds the distinction of being the only European Championship or World Cup final to go to a replay. After extra time the final ended in a 1-1 draw, and in the days before penalty shootouts, the rules required the match to be replayed a few days later. Italy won the replay 2-0 with goals from Luigi Riva and Pietro Anastasi to take the trophy. In the 1970 World Cup, exploiting the performances of European champions players like Giacinto Facchetti, Gianni Rivera and Luigi Riva and with a new centre-forward Roberto Boninsegna, the team were able to come back to a World Cup final match after 32 years. They reached this result after one of the most famous matches in football history. The Game of the Century. The 1970 World Cup semi-final between Italy and Germany that Italy won 4-3 in extra time, with five of the seven goals coming in extra time. They were later defeated by Brazil in the final 4-1. The cycle of international successes ended in the 1974 World Cup, when the team was eliminated by Zegos Lato's Polish team in the first round. 1978–1986, the Third World Cup generation In the 1978 FIFA World Cup in Argentina, a new generation of Italian players, the most famous being Paolo Rossi, came to the international stage. Italy were the only team in the tournament to beat the eventual champions and host team Argentina. Second round games against West Germany 0-0, Austria 1-0 and Netherlands 1-2 led Italy to the third place final where the team was defeated by Brazil 2-1. In the match that eliminated Italy from the tournament against the Netherlands, Italian goalkeeper Dino Zoff was beaten by a long distance shot from Ari Hahn and Zoff was criticized for the defeat. Italy hosted the 1980 UEFA European Football Championship, the first edition to be held between eight teams instead of four, automatically qualifying for the finals as hosts. After two draws with Spain and Belgium and a narrow 1-0 win over England, Italy were beaten by Czechoslovakia in the third-place match on penalties 9-8 after Fulvio Calavati missed his kick. After a scandal in Serie A where some national team players such as Paolo Rossi were prosecuted and suspended for match-fixing and illegal betting. 
The Azuri qualified for the second round of the 1982 World Cup after three uninspiring draws against Poland, Peru and Cameroon. Having been loudly criticized, the Italian team decided on a press blackout from then on, with only coach Enzo Berat and captain Dino Zoff appointed to speak to the press. Italy's regrouped in the second round group, a group of death with Argentina and Brazil. In the opener, Italy prevailed 2-1 over Argentina, with Italy's goals, both left-footed strikes, were scored by Marco Tardelli and Antonio Cabrini. After Brazil defeated Argentina 3-1, Italy needed to win in order to advance to the semi-finals. Twice Italy went in the lead with Paolo Rossi's goals, and twice Brazil came back. When Falcao scored to make it 2-2, Brazil would have been through on goal difference, but in the 74th minute Rossi scored the winning goal, for a hat-trick, in a crowded penalty area to send Italy to the semi-finals after one of the greatest games in World Cup history. Italy then progressed to the semi-final where they defeated Poland with two goals from Rossi. In the final, Italy met West Germany, who had advanced by a penalty shootout victory against France. The first half ended scoreless, after Antonio Cabrini missed a penalty awarded for a Hans-Peter Briegel foul on Bruno Conti. In the second half Paolo Rossi again scored the first goal, and while the Germans were pushing forward in search of an equaliser, Marco Tardelli and substitute Alessandro Altobelli finalised two contropied counterattacks to make it 3-0. Paul Breitner scored home West Germany's consolation goal seven minutes from the end. Tardelli's cry, G-O-L. GOL was one of the defining images of Italy's 1982 World Cup triumph. Paolo Rossi won the Golden Boot with six goals as well as the Golden Ball Award for the best player of the tournament, and 40 year old captain goalkeeper Dino Zoff became the oldest player to win the World Cup. However, Italy failed to qualify for the 1984 European Championship. Italy then entered as reigning champions in the 1986 World Cup but were eliminated by reigning European champions, France, in the round of 16. Topic: 1988-2000, World Cup and European Championship runners-up 1986 also led to Berzo's departure, with Itzelio Vicini appointed in his place. New coach conceded a chance to young players, such as Ciro Ferrara and Gianluca Violi. Sampdoria striker scored goals that gave Italy 1988 European Championship pass. He was also shown like Altobelli's possibly successor, having his same goal attitude. Both forwards stroked the target in Germany, where Soviet Union defeated Azuri in semi finals. Italy hosted the World Cup for the second time in 1990. The Italian attack featured talented forwards Salvatore Schilacci and a young Roberto Baggio. Italy played nearly all of their matches in Rome and did not concede a single goal in their first five matches, however, Italy lost in the semi-final to defending champion Argentina in Naples, losing 4-3 on penalty kicks following a 1-1 draw after extra time. Schilacci's first half opener was equalized in the second half by Claudio Canigia's header for Argentina. Aldo Serena missed the final penalty kick with Roberto Donadoni also having his penalty saved by goalkeeper Sergio Goicochia. Italy went on to defeat England 2-1 in the third place match in Bari, with Schilacci scoring the winning goal on a penalty to become the tournament's top scorer with six goals. Italy then failed to qualify for the 1992 European Championship. In November 1993, FIFA ranked Italy first in the FIFA World Rankings for their first time since the ranking system was introduced in December 1992. At the 1994 World Cup in the United States, Italy lost the opening match against Ireland 0 1 at the Giants Stadium near New York City. After a 1-0 win against Norway in New York City and a 1-1 draw with Mexico at the RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C., Italy advanced from Group E based on goals scored among the four teams tied on points. During their round of 16 match at the Foxborough Stadium near Boston, Italy was down 0-1 late against Nigeria, but Baggio rescued Italy with an equalizer in the 88th minute and a penalty in extra time to take the win. 
Baggio scored another late goal against Spain at their quarterfinal match in Boston to seal a 2–1 win and two goals against Bulgaria in their semi-final match in New York City for another 2–1 win. In the final, which took place in Los Angeles's Rose Bowl Stadium 2,700 miles 4 and three time zones away from the Atlantic Northeast part of the United States where they had played all their previous matches, Italy, who had 24 hours less rest than Brazil, played 120 20 minutes of scoreless football, taking the match to a penalty shootout, the first time a World Cup final was settled in a penalty shootout. Italy lost the subsequent shootout 3–2 after Baggio, who had been playing with the aid of a painkiller injection and a heavily bandaged hamstring, missed the final penalty kick of the match, shooting over the crossbar. Italy did not progress beyond the group stage at the finals of Euro 1996. Having defeated Russia 2–1 but losing to the Czech Republic by the same score, Italy required a win to be sure of progressing. Gianfranco Zola failed to convert a decisive penalty in a 0–0 draw against Germany, who eventually won the tournament. During the qualifying campaign for the 1998 World Cup, Italy drew 0–0 to England on the last day of Group 2 matches as Italy finished in second place, one point behind England. Italy were then required to go through the playoff against Russia, advancing 2–1 on aggregate on 15 November 1997 with the winner coming from Pierluigi Casaraghi. In the final tournament, Italy found themselves in another critical shootout for the third World Cup in a row. The Italian side, where Alessandro Del Piero and Baggio renewed the controversial staffetta relay. Between Mozzola and Rivera from 1970, held the eventual world champions and host team France to a 0–0 draw after extra time in the quarter-finals, but lost 4–3 in the shootout. With two goals scored in this tournament, Baggio is still the only Italian player to have scored in three different FIFA World Cup editions. In the Euro 2000, another shootout decided Italy's fate but this time in their favour when defeating the co-hosts the Netherlands in the semi-final. Italian goalkeeper Francesco Toldo saved one penalty during the match and two in the shootout, while the Dutch players missed one other penalty during the match and one during the shootout with a rate of one penalty scored out of six attempts. Emerging star Francesco Totti scored his penalty with a cucchiaio spoon chip. Italy finished the tournament as runners-up, losing the final 2–1 against France to a golden goal in extra time after conceding Les Blues equalizing goal just 30 seconds before the expected end of injury time 93rd minute. After the defeat, coach Dino Zoff resigned in protest after being criticized by Milan club president and politician Silvio Berlusconi. Topic. 2000–2004, Trapattoni era In the 2002 World Cup, a 2–0 victory against Ecuador with two Christian Vieri goals was followed by a series of controversial matches. During the match against Croatia, two goals were disallowed resulting in a 2–1 defeat for Italy. Despite two goals being ruled for borderline offsides, a late-headed goal from Alessandro Del Piero helped Italy to a 1-1 draw with Mexico proving enough to advance to the knockout stages. However, co-host country South Korea eliminated Italy in the round of 16 by a score of 2-1. The game was highly controversial with members of the Italian team, most notably striker Francesco Totti and coach Giovanni Trapattoni, suggesting a conspiracy to eliminate Italy from the competition. Trapattoni even obliquely accused FIFA of ordering the official to ensure a Korean victory so that one of the two host nations would remain in the tournament. The most contentious decisions by the game referee Byron Moreno were an early penalty awarded to South Korea saved by Buffon, a golden goal by Damiano Tomasa ruled offside, and the sending off of Totti after being presented with a second yellow card for an alleged dive in the penalty area. FIFA president Sepp Blatter stated that the linesman had been a disaster, and admitted that Italy suffered from bad offside calls during the group matches, but he denied conspiracy allegations. While questioning Totti's sending off by Moreno, Blatter refused to blame Italy's loss entirely on the referees, stating, Italy's elimination is not only down to referees and linesmen who made human not premeditated errors. Italy made mistakes both in defence and in attack. A three-way five-point tie in the group stage of the 2004 European Championship left Italy as the odd man out 
as they failed to qualify for the quarter-finals after finishing behind Denmark and Sweden on the basis of number of goals scored in matches among the tied teams. Italy's winning goal scored during stoppage time giving them a 2-1 victory over Bulgaria by Antonio Cassano proved futile, ending the team's tournament. Topic. 2006, fourth World Cup title The summer of 2004 marked the choice, by FIGC, to appoint Marcelo Lippi for Italy's bench. He made his debut in an upset 2-0 defeat in Iceland but then managed to qualify for 2006 World Cup. Italy's campaign in the tournament hosted by Germany was accompanied by open pessimism due to the controversy caused by the 2006 Serie A scandal, however these negative predictions were then refuted, as the Azzurri eventually won their fourth World Cup. Italy won their opening game against Ghana 2-0, with goals from Andrea Pirlo 40th minute and substitute Vincenzo Iaquinta 83rd minute. The team performance was judged the best among the opening games by FIFA president Sepp Blatter. The second match was a less convincing 1-1 draw with United States, with Alberto Gilardino's diving header equalized by a Christian Zaccardo own goal. After the equalizer, midfielder Daniele De Rossi and the United States's Pablo Mastroeni and Eddie Pope were sent off, leaving only nine men on the field for nearly the entirety of the second half, but the score remained unchanged despite a controversial decision when Gennaro Gattuso's shot was deflected in but disallowed because of an offside ruling. The same happened at the other end when U.S. winger Demarcus Beasley's goal was not given due to teammate Brian McBride being ruled offside. De Rossi was suspended for four matches for elbowing McBride in the face and only returned for the final match. Italy finished first in Group E with a 2-0 win against the Czech Republic, with goals from defender Marco Materazzi 26th minute and striker Filippo Inzaghi 87th minute, advancing to the round of 16 in the knockout stages, where they faced Australia. In this match, Matarazzi was controversially sent off early in the second half 53rd minute after an attempted two-footed tackle on Australian midfielder Marco Bresciano. In stoppage time a controversial penalty kick was awarded to the Azzurri when referee Luis Medina Cantalejo ruled that Lucas Neal fouled Fabio Grosso. Francesco Totti converted into an upper corner of the goal past Mark Schwarzer for a 1-0 win. In the quarterfinals Italy beat Ukraine 3-0. Gianluca Zambrata opened the scoring early in the sixth minute with a left-footed shot from outside the penalty area after a quick exchange with Totti created enough space. Luca Toni added two more goals in the second half 59th and 69th minute, as Ukraine pressed forward but were not able to score, hitting the crossbar and requiring several saves from Gianluigi Buffon and a goal-line clearance from Zambrata. Afterwards, manager Marcello Lippi dedicated the victory to former Italian international Gianluca Pesotto, who was in the hospital recovering from an apparent suicide attempt. In the semi finals, Italy beat hosts Germany 2 0 with the two goals coming in the last two minutes of extra time. After a back and forth half hour of extra time during which Alberto Gilardino and Gianluca Zambrata struck the post and the crossbar respectively, Fabio Grosso scored in the 119th minute after a disguised Andrea Pirlo pass found him open in the penalty area for a bending left-footed shot into the far corner past German goalkeeper Jens Lehmann's dive. Substitute striker Alessandro Del Piero then sealed the victory by scoring with the last kick of the game at the end of a swift counterattack by Cannavaro, Totti and Gilardino. The Azzurri won their fourth World Cup, defeating their longtime rivals France in Berlin, on 9 July, 5-3 on penalty kicks after a 1-1 draw at the end of extra time in the final. French captain Zinedine Zidane opened the scoring in the seventh minute with a chipped penalty kick, awarded for a controversial foul by Matarazzi on Florent Meloda. Twelve minutes later, a header by Matarazzi from a corner kick by Pirlo brought Italy even. In the second half, a potential winning goal by Tony was disallowed for a very close offside call by linesman Luc La Rosa. In the 110th minute, Zidane, playing in the last match of his career, was sent off by referee Horacio Elizondo for headbutting Matarazzi in the chest after a verbal exchange. Italy then won the penalty shootout 5-3, the crucial penalty miss being David Tresegues, the same player who scored the golden goal for France in the Euro 2000. Tresegues' attempt hit the crossbar, then shot down after its impact, and just stayed ahead of the line. Ten different players scored for Italy in the tournament, and five goals out of twelve were scored by substitutes, while four goals were scored by defenders. 
seven players Gianluigi Buffon, Fabio Cannavaro, Gianluca Zambrata, Andrea Pirlo, Gennaro Gattuso, Francesco Totti, and Luca Toni were named to the 23 man tournament All Star team. Buffon also won the Lev Yashin Award, given to the best goalkeeper of the tournament. He conceded only two goals in the tournament's seven matches the first an own goal by Zicardo, and the second from Zidane's penalty kick in the final, and remained unbeaten for 460 consecutive minutes. In honor of Italy winning the FIFA World Cup for a fourth time, all members of the World Cup winning squad were awarded the Italian Order of Merit of Cavalier Ufficiale. Topic: 2006 to 2010 Post World Cup and Lippi's second term. Marcelo Lippi, who had announced his resignation three days after the World Cup triumph, was replaced by Roberto Donadoni as the new coach of the Azzurri. Italy played in the 2008 UEFA European Football Championship qualifying Group B, along with France. Italy won the group, with France being the runner-up. On 14 February 2007, Italy climbed to first in the FIFA World Rankings from second, with a total of 1,488 points, 37 points ahead of second-ranked Argentina. This was the second time in the Azzurri's history that it had been ranked in first place, the first time being in 1993. They would also be ranked first several times throughout 2007, also in April to June and September. In Euro 2008, the Azzurri lost 3-0 to the Netherlands. The following game against Romania ended 1-1, with a goal by Christian Panucci that came only one minute after Romania's Adrian Mutu capitalized on a mistake by Gianluca Zambrata to give Romania the lead. The result was preserved by Gianluigi Buffon who saved a penalty kick from Mutu in the 80th minute. The final group game against France, a rematch of the 2006 World Cup final, was a 2-0 Italy win. Andrea Pirlo scored from the penalty spot after a foul and red card for France defender Eric Abidal, and later a free kick by Daniele De Rossi took a deflection resulting Italy's second goal. Romania, entering the day a point ahead of the Italians in Group C, lost to the Netherlands 2-0, allowing Italy to pass into the quarter-finals against eventual champions Spain, where they lost 2-4 on penalties after a 0-0 draw after 120 minutes. Within a week after the game, Roberto Donadoni's contract was terminated and Marcelo Lippi was rehired as coach. Italy qualified for their first ever FIFA Confederations Cup held in South Africa in June 2009 by virtue of winning the 2006 World Cup. They won their opening match of the tournament by a score of 3-1 against the United States, but subsequent defeats to Egypt and Brazil meant that they only finished third in the group on goals scored, and were eliminated. The national football team of Italy qualified for the 2010 FIFA World Cup after playing home games at Stadio Friuli, Stadio Via del Mare, Stadio San Nicola, Stadio Olimpico di Torino and Stadio Ennio Tardini. In October 2009, they achieved qualification after drawing with the Republic of Ireland 2-2. On 4 December 2009, the draw for the World Cup was made. Italy would be in Group F alongside three underdog teams, Paraguay, New Zealand and Slovakia. At the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, reigning champions Italy were unexpectedly eliminated in the first round, finishing last place in their group. After being held to 1-1 draws by Paraguay and New Zealand, they suffered a 3-2 loss to Slovakia. It was the first time Italy failed to win a single game at a World Cup finals tournament, and in doing so became the third nation to be eliminated in the first round while holding the World Cup crown, the first being Brazil in 1966 and the second France in 2002. Coincidentally, France who had been Italy's adversaries and the losing finalist in the 2006 World Cup, were also eliminated without winning a game in the first round in South Africa, making it the first time ever that neither finalist of the previous edition were able to reach the second round. 2010-2014, European Championship runners-up Marcelo Lippi stepped down after Italy's World Cup campaign and was replaced by Cesare Prandelli, although Lippi's successor had already been announced before the tournament. Italy began their campaign with Prandelli with a disappointing 0-1 loss to the Ivory Coast in a friendly match. Then, during a Euro 2012 qualifier, Italy came back from behind to defeat Estonia 2-1. 
In the next Euro qualifier, Italy dominated the Faroe Islands 5–0. Italy then tied 0–0 with Northern Ireland. Five days later, Italy played Serbia, however, Serbian fans in Stadio Luigi Ferraris began to riot, throwing flares and shooting fireworks onto the pitch, subsequently causing the abandonment of the game. Upon UEFA disciplinary review, Italy was awarded a 3–0 victory that propelled them to the top of their group. In their first match of 2011, Italy drew 1–1 a friendly with Germany at Dortmund, in the same stadium where they beat Germany 2–0 to advance to the final of the 2006 World Cup. In March 2011, Italy won 1–0 over Slovenia to again secure its spot at the top of the qualification table. They then defeated Ukraine 2–0 in a friendly, despite being reduced to 10 men for the late stages of the match. With their 3–0 defeat of Estonia in another Euro 2012 qualifier, Prandelli's Italy secured the table lead and also achieved nine undefeated games in a row since their initial debacle. The streak was ended on 7 June 2011 by Trapattoni's current charges, the Republic of Ireland, with Italy losing 0–2 in a friendly in Liege. At the beginning of the second season under coach Prandelli, on 10 August 2011, Italy defeated the reigning world champions Spain for 2–1 in a friendly match played in Barry's Stadio San Nicola, but lost in a friendly to the United States, 1–0, on home soil on 29 February 2012. Italy started their Euro 2012 campaign with a 1–1 draw to current reigning European and world champions Spain. Following this they met Croatia and were also held to a 1–1 draw. They finished second in their group behind Spain by beating the Republic of Ireland 2–0, which earned them a quarter-final match against the winners of Group D, England. After a mostly one-sided affair in which Italy failed to take their chances, they managed to best England on penalty kicks, even though they were down early in the shootout. A save by goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon put them ahead after a chip shot from Andrea Pirlo. Prandelli's side won the shootout 4–2. In their next game, the first semi-final of the competition, they faced Germany team who were tipped by many to be the next European champions. However, two first-half goals by Mario Balotelli saw Germany sent home, and the Italians went through to the finals to face the title defenders Spain. In the final, however, they were unable to repeat their earlier performance against Spain, falling 4–0 to lose the championship. Prandelli's men were further undone by the string of injuries which left them playing with ten men for the last half hour, as substitute Thiago Mata was forced to go off after all three substitutions had been made. During the 2013 Confederations Cup in Brazil, Italy started in a group with Mexico, Japan, and Brazil. After beating Mexico 2 1 and Japan 4 3, Italy eventually lost their final group game against tournament hosts Brazil 4 2. Italy then faced Spain in the semi-finals, in a rematch of the Euro 2012 final. Italy lost 7-6 0-0 after extra time in a penalty shootout after Leonardo Benucci failed to score his kick. Prandelli was praised for his tactics against the current World Cup and European champions. Italy was then able to win the match for the third place by defeating Uruguay with the penalty score of 5-4 2-2 after extra time. Italy was drawn in UEFA Group B for the 2014 World Cup qualification campaign. They won the qualifying group without losing a match. Despite this successful run they were not seeded in pot 1 for the final seeding. In December 2013, Italy was drawn in Group D against Costa Rica, England and Uruguay. In its first match, Italy defeated England 2-1. However, in the second group stage match, underdogs Costa Rica beat the Italians 1-0. In Italy's last group match, they were knocked out by Uruguay 1-0, due in part to two controversial calls from referee Marco Antonio Rodriguez Mexico. .In the 59th minute, midfielder Claudio Marchisio was sent off for a questionable tackle. Later in the 80th minute, with the teams knotted at 0-0 which would have sent Italy to the next round, Uruguayan striker Luis Suarez bit defender Giorgio Chiellini on the shoulder but was not sent off. Uruguay went on to score moments later in the 81st minute with a Diego Godin header from a corner kick, winning the game 1-0 and eliminating Italy. This marked Italy's second consecutive failure to reach the round of 16 at the World Cup Finals. Shortly after this loss, coach Cesare Prandelli resigned. Topic: 2014 to 2016 Euro 2016 campaign. 
The successful former Juventus manager Antonio Conte was selected to replace Cesare Prandelli as coach after the 2014 World Cup. Conte's debut as manager was against 2014 World Cup semi-finalists the Netherlands, in which Italy won 2-0. Italy's first defeat under Conte came ten games into his empowerment from a 1–0 international friendly loss against Portugal on 16 June 2015. On 10 October 2015, Italy qualified for Euro 2016, courtesy of a 3–1 win over Azerbaijan, the result meant that Italy had managed to go 50 games unbeaten in European qualifiers. Three days later, with a 2–1 win over Norway, Italy topped their Euro 2016 qualifying group with 24 points, four points clear of second-placed Croatia. However, with a similar fate to the 2014 World Cup group stage draw, Italy were not top-seeded into the first pot. This had Italy see a draw with Belgium, Sweden and the Republic of Ireland in Group E on 4 April 2016. It was announced that Antonio Conte would step down as Italy coach after Euro 2016 to become head coach of English club Chelsea at the start of the 2016-17 Premier League season. The 23-man squad, which was initially criticised by many fans and members of the media for its tactics and level of quality, saw notable absences with Andrea Pirlo and Sebastian Giovinco controversially left out and Claudio Marchisio and Marco Verratti omitted due to injury. Italy opened Euro 2016 with a 2-0 victory over Belgium on 13 June. Italy qualified for the round of 16 with one game to spare on 17 June with a lone goal by Eder for the victory against Sweden, the first time they won the second group game in a major international tournament since Euro 2000. Italy also finished top of the group for the first time in a major tournament since the 2006 World Cup. Italy defeated reigning European champions Spain 2-0 in the round of 16 match on 27 June. Italy then faced off against the reigning world champions, rivals Germany, in the quarter-finals. Mesut Ozil opened the scoring in the 65th minute for Germany, before Leonardo Benucci converted a penalty in the 78th minute for Italy. The score remained 1-1 after extra time and Germany beat Italy 6-5 in the ensuing penalty shootout. It was the first time Germany overcame Italy in a major tournament, however, since the win occurred on penalties, it is statistically considered a draw. Topic: 2016 present, failure to qualify for 2018 FIFA World Cup and rebuild. For the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualification, Italy were placed into the second pot due to being in 17th place in the FIFA World Rankings at the time of the group draws. Italy were drawn with Spain from pot 1 on the 25th of July 2015. After Conti's planned departure following Euro 2016, Gian Piero Ventura took over as manager for the team, on 18 July 2016, signing a two-year contract. His first match at the helm was a friendly against France, held at the Stadio San Nicola on 1 September, which ended in a 3-1 loss. Four days later, he won his first competitive match in charge of Italy, the team's opening 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifier against Israel at Haifa, which ended in a 3-1 victory for Italy. After Italy won all of their qualifying matches except for a 1-1 draw at home to Macedonia, as well as a 1-1 draw with Spain at home on the 6th of October 2016, and a 3-0 loss away to Spain on the 2nd of September 2017, Italy finished in Group G in second place, five points behind Spain. Italy were then required to go through the playoff against Sweden. After a 1-0 aggregate loss to Sweden, on 13 November 2017, Italy failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, the first time they failed to qualify for the World Cup since 1958. Immediately following the match, veterans Giorgio Chiellini, Andrea Barzagli, Daniele De Rossi and captain Gianluigi Buffon all declared their retirement from the national team. On 15 November 2017, Ventura was dismissed as head coach and on 20 November 2017, Carlo Tavecchio resigned as president of the Italian Football Federation. On 5 February 2018, the Italy U21 manager Luigi Di Biagio was appointed as the caretaker manager of the senior team. On 17 March 2018, despite the initial decision to retire by veterans Buffon and Chiellini, they were both called up for Italy's March 2018 friendlies by caretaker manager Di Biagio. 
Following the March friendlies against Argentina and England in which Italy were defeated and drew respectively, on 12 April 2018, Italy dropped six places to their lowest FIFA world ranking at the time, to 20th place. On 14 May 2018, Roberto Mancini was announced as the new manager. On 28 May 2018, Italy won their first match under Mancini, a 2-1 victory in a friendly over Saudi Arabia. On 16 August 2018, in the FIFA World Ranking that followed the 2018 World Cup, Italy dropped two places to their lowest ever ranking, to 21st place. On 7 September 2018, Italy participated in the inaugural UEFA Nations League, drawing their first match of the tournament against Poland in Bologna with a score of 1-1. <laughs> Team image Topic. Kits, colors and badges The first shirt worn by the Italian national team in its debut with France on 15 May 1910, was white. This choice was due to the fact that the agreement on the official uniform had not yet been reached, and therefore it was decided not to color it leaving it white. After two games, on the occasion of a friendly match with Hungary in Milan on 6 January 1911, the white shirt was replaced by a blue one version. The choice was motivated by the color of the Royal House of Savoy's banner. The uniform was combined with white shorts and black socks over time also the latter will become blue. The team had later become known as GLI Azuri the Blues. In the 1930s, Italy wore a black uniform, desired by the fascist regime of Benito Mussolini. The black jersey debuted on 17 February 1935 in a friendly against France at the Stadio Nazionale PNF in Rome. This was raised to a lesser extent also by the national at the football tournament of the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin the following year, and at the 1938 World Cup in France 1938. The black uniform was replaced by the blue uniform after the fall of Mussolini after World War II. When the fascist regime fell and the monarchy was abolished in 1946, the Savoy Cross gave way to the tricolor badge. At the beginning of the 1950s, the tricolor shield was accompanied by Italia above the shield. Subsequently the abbreviation FIGC of the Federation was incorporated into the badge. In 1983, to celebrate the victory of the World Cup of the previous year, three gold stars replaced the word Italia above the tricolor, representing their three World Cup victories until that point. In 1984, a new round emblem incorporated the three stars, the inscriptions Italia and FIGC and the tricolor. The first kit manufacturer was Adidas in 1974, followed by Baila, Le Coq Sportif, Diodora, Nike and Kappa, and since 2003, has been manufactured by Puma. Since the 2000s, an all-blue uniform including blue shorts has been used, particularity in international tournaments. After Italy's 2006 World Cup victory, a fourth star was added to the tricolor badge. Topic. Rivalries Italy has four main rivalries with other top footballing nations. Their rivalry with Brazil, known as the Clásico Mundial in Spanish or the World Derby in English, two of the most successful football nations in the world, having achieved nine World Cups between the two countries. Since it was first contested at the 1938 World Cup, they have played against each other a total of five times in the World Cup, most notably in the 1970 World Cup Final and the 1994 World Cup Final in which Brazil won 4-1, and 3-2 on penalties after a goalless draw, respectively. Their rivalry with France, dates back the earliest, with the match played on 15 May 1910, Italy's first official match ending in a 6-2 victory. Notable matches in the World Cup and the European Football Championship include the 2006 World Cup final, when the Italians defeated the French 5-3 in the penalty shootout, after a 1-1 draw, and the 2000 European Championship, won by France with an extra-time golden goal by David Trezeguet. Their rivalry with Germany, is also long-standing, having played against each other five times in the World Cup, notably in the Game of the Century. The 1970 World Cup semi-final between the two countries that Italy won 4-3 in extra time, with five of the seven goals coming in extra time. Germany has also won three European championships while Italy has won it once. 
The two countries have faced each other four times in the European Championship, with three draws one German penalty shootout victory and one Italian victory. Germany had never defeated Italy in a major tournament match until their victory in the Euro 2016 quarter-finals, on penalties though statistically considered a draw, with all Germany's other wins over Italy being in friendly competitions. Their rivalry with Spain, sometimes referred to as the Mediterranean Derby, has been contested since 1920, and although the two nations are not immediate geographical neighbours, their rivalry at international level is enhanced by the strong performances of the representative clubs in UEFA competitions, in which they are among the leading associations and have each enjoyed spells of dominance. Since the quarterfinal match between the two countries at Euro 2008, the rivalry has renewed, with its most notable match between the two sides being in the UEFA Euro 2012 final, which Spain won 4-0. Topic: Competitive record. For the all-time record, see Italy national football team all-time record. Champions runners-up third place fourth place. Topic: <inaudible> FIFA World Cup. Asterisk denotes draws include knockout matches decided on penalty shootout. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: <inaudible> FIFA Confederations Cup. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided by penalty shootout. Topic: <inaudible> UEFA European Championship. Asterisk draws include knockout matches decided by penalty shootout. Asterisk asterisk gold background color indicates that the tournament was won. Asterisk 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 red border color indicates tournament was held on home soil. Topic: <laughs> UEFA Nations League. Topic: Honors. This is a list of honors for the senior Italian national team. Topic: Coaching staff. Current technical staff. During the earliest days of Italian nation football, it was common for a technical commission to be appointed. The commission took the role that a standard coach would currently play. Ever since 1967, the national team has been controlled by the coaches only. For this reason, the coach of the Italian national team is still called technical commissioner commissario tecnico or CT. The use of this denomination has since then expanded into other team sports in Italy. Topic: <laughs> Results and fixtures. Win Draw Loss Topic twenty eighteen Topic twenty nineteen Topic Players Topic: Current squad. The following players were called up for the friendly match against the United States on the 20th of November 2018. Caps and goals as of the 20th of November 2018 after the match against United States. Topic: Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up to the Italy squad within the last 12 months. Players that have retired from the national team and are not available for selection anymore are not displayed. Topic: Previous squads.
Topic Records Topic Most capped players As of the 20th of November 2018, the players with the most appearances for Italy are Players in bold are still active in the national football team. Topic: Top goalscorers. As of the 20th of November 2018, the players with the most goals for Italy are Players in bold are still active in the national football team. Topic. Captains List of captaincy periods of the various captains throughout the years Topic. Hat tricks Head-to-head <inaudible> -head records For head-to-head -head records against other countries, see Italy national football team head-to-head. -head. See also Italy women's national football team Italy national under-21 football team Italy national under-20 football team Italy national under-19 football team Italy national under-17 football team Italy national beach soccer team Italy national futsal team Serie A Football in Italy Sport in Italy List of cultural icons of Italy Notes <laughs>